G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a geometry question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Points E and F are located on square A, B, C, D. Here's a, here's a bad picture of the square, but there's the square with points A, B, C, uh, E and F on A, B, C, D. Great. So that triangle B, E, F is equilateral. B, E, F. So this middle one is equilateral, unlike my picture. Um, what is the ratio of the area of triangle D, E, F to that of ABE. Okay, now I'm, now I'm lost. Where's, a, where's ABE? Uh, triangle ABE is this area. And DEF, I wanted to, this is this triangle. I want the ratio of this area to that area. Ooh. Um, this is a little scary because um, there are no numbers in this question. And I want the actual value of that ratio. This is strange. This is strange. All right, well, okay, there's a lot of information going on in this question, so I feel like there's stuff to do. So I don't feel completely lost. I mean, I can just try stuff. So let's engage in successful flailing, strategy number one. Um, so let's see. I don't know what the side length of the square is, but it could be any number we like. But I'm going to choose one. What, if it turns out to be five feet, I'll call that one unit. If it turns out to be 10 meters, I'll call that one unit. So let's just say it's one unit wide. All right. Great, because in the ratio of areas, I guess the actual nature of the units themselves don't matter. Um, great. Um, I guess it feels natural to start labeling things. For example, I want this triangle here, so some height x, in which case that's 1 minus x. Um, this is some distance y, and there'll be 1 minus y, and that's 1. So let's label the distances. Great. Um, I can't help but want to do Pythagoras because I see these right triangles. For example, here's a right triangle. So 1 squared plus x squared equals this length squared. So it must be the square root of 1 plus x squared. Uh, ditto 1 squared plus y squared. This must be the square root of 1 plus y squared. And this one looks horrible. I won't do that one. <laughs> um, hmm. Now I'm starting to get lost. Um, points EF is tri uh, triangle BEF is equilateral. So all three sides are the same length. Ah, great. This length equals that length. Square root of 1 plus x squared must equal the square root of 1 plus y squared. Square both sides, subtract 1, take square roots, x equals y. The picture's less complicated than it first looks. And I guess that makes sense. It should have been symmetrical. I should have guessed, actually, if everything here is symmetrical, these distances are the same. Right, but now I've got proof. All right, this is an x. That's an x. That's an x squared. Brilliant. Hmm, now what? Ah, that means... 1 minus x, 1 minus x, this is just a right sausage triangle. So this must be root 2 times this side length, 1 minus x. That's how right isosceles triangles go, isn't it? I mean, if I've got a, a, and it's isosceles, root 2a. Bingo. Because I'm feeling good. Because that means root 2 times 1 minus x has to equal one of these other side lengths, square root of 1 plus x squared. That feels like an equation I can solve. And if I can solve it, that means I've got an actual value for x. Next question is actually, is that helpful? Do I want a value for x? What's the question again? Uh, what is the ratio of the areas of the, oh, what's the ratio of the areas of the triangles? I need this area and I need that area. Oh, if I knew the value of x, I've got it. If I've got x here, uh, half base times height, I'd have an actual number. Half base times height, I'd have an actual number. I could do it. All right, I want to find x. Yes, it would be helpful to know what x actually is. So go for it. I'm going to say, try it. Set that equation, that, that expression equal to that expression, get an action number for x, and see where we end up. And when you've got an answer, compare the answer to the one I present in the essay that goes with this video. Let's compare results, see if we both do the same arithmetic and get the same, same uh, computations in the end. All right, kind of cool. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.